Welcome to the Mountain Duo. I'm Phil, and this is Do or Do Not, where we give things a try so you don't have to. Today, I'm going to be making peach cobbler using Code Red Mountain Dew. Let's go! I'm going to start with one of the best things on earth, Palisade Peaches, Colorado. I've got the peaches sliced up. I'm going to put some uh, nonstick spray in a, in a little pan here and spread them out in a layer at the bottom. It's going to need more peaches. Oh yeah, that covers the bottom. There we go. All right. The next step, package of yellow cake. Just sprinkle it on top. It looks pretty good. I think I don't really know what I'm doing. And the last step, <laughs> we're gonna pour over Code Red Mountain Dew. Make sure it covers all of it. I'll go ahead and see if I can fit the whole can in here. Not sure if that's how I'm supposed to do it or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, the oven is just about preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Hope that's okay. Don't forget to set your timer for 45 minutes. In a few. While we wait, let's enjoy a little Mountain Dew. Let's pull this thing out. All right, look at that. Full disclosure, I had to cook this thing about twice as long as I expected. And I'm about to say something I never thought I'd say. I think I used too much Mountain Dew. That being said, I'm ready to try this. It's still pretty hot, but I can't wait any longer. Let's get in here. Oh my, make sure to get those peaches in there. All right, here we go. Do or do not. Peach cobbler using Mountain Dew Code Red. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. It's hot. I did not know that peach season in Colorado could get any better, but this is it right here. Do or do not, definitely do this. Give this a try. Only three ingredients, a little bit longer in the oven. Give it a shot. This is really good. I think I need some ice cream with this. See ya.